So heat capacity is an important property of a material. What are some actual values of heat capacity to calibrate your thinking? Well, metals, which have low heat capacity, they transfer heat really well. Uh, aluminum, for example, often used for pots and pans, has a heat capacity of 0 0.897. It doesn't like to hold on to heat very well, so it likes to transfer it through. Iron, on the other hand, also a very good pot and pan, transfers heat even better, but it holds on to heat worse. So it has a lower heat capacity, 0.45. Copper, another great material for pots and pans, but getting a little more expensive, uh, has um, a, a heat capacity of 0.385. Worse than uh, aluminum and iron, it has a lower heat capacity, um, so that's why it's good for pots and pans, transfers the energy, because it doesn't hold it. Silver, on the other hand, is even better than copper, 0.283. And one of the best conductors of heat, or the materials with one of the lowest heat capacities, is gold, 0.129. Boy, we should make some pots and pans out of gold, but you might know that there's some problems with that. Besides the cost, it's kind of a pliable, uh, easily dented material, and uh, probably wouldn't work very well uh, for pots and pans. What are some things that have high heat capacities? Plastics are something, 2.3. This is in the joules per gram um, per degree Celsius. Um, so we often use them for handles, the plastic. There are handles um, that holds on to heat so it does not actually get hot. It takes a lot of energy before it gets hot. And so that's why we use plastics. What substance has the highest heat capacity of almost anything in the world, in the universe? What's one of the hardest things to heat up? What do you think? Yes, it's water. 4.184, this is one of the highest numbers you'll see for heat capacity. Uh, if you can find another higher one, please tell me. And uh, that's what makes it so hard to boil. But it does boil, water will boil. It just takes a while because it holds the heat. You have to put so much into it just to heat it up one degree. And uh, metals are the complete opposite. So these are some values here to calibrate your mind on the heat capacity of water. So we know these things. We can look them up in a table, but in your lab, we're actually going to do the experiment to figure out what is the specific heat. Okay, there we go. Another amazing property of water.